I should have flipped the mattress. Should we do that? Yeah. Uh, hello, welcome to episode 326 of the Epic Film Challenge. And the epic changing of the bed is still going on. Sin City. Nope, I can't stop. I can never stop. Um, Sin City. <laughs> Sin City I've never seen before, right? Oh, move it! <laughs> you can attack me then. <laughs> Uh, really? Get off. Frank Miller's Sin City is a graphic novel. It's been adapted by Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller, who also kind of directed the film. Although there was like a dispute around, around whether he could be credited. I don't know. And also Quentin Tarantino directed some part of it. So it's like a really ultra stylish kind of film that's uh, made to look like a graphic novel, really. And it's like all black and white, and then certain colours are kind of there for added emphasis, like blood. And yellow in certain points and stuff like that, and it's a story. That's okay, I don't need your help. It's fine. You okay. Can sit on your ass. It's all right. <laughs> she nearly killed the cat. Um, She's <laughs> so it's like a story told in three parts, and the characters all kind of the stories kind of merge and stuff. Really well told on film. I don't know about the graphic novel how that turned out. You got Mickey Rourke, um, Benicio del Toro, Bruce Willis, Clive Owen, Clive Warren. <laughs> If you get that reference, well done. Uh, Jessica Alba, uh, that woman, I forget what her name is. There's loads of actors in this. Um, Elijah Wood, did I say Mickey Rock? There's loads of people in this. And, uh, Who is Mickey Rock again? The, the guy with the square head. <laughs> um, the guy with the weird head? Yeah, with the weird head. And I liked I liked the end of the film, Like I liked the, the, the third story. Um, I don't know, there was one point in the film where I just wasn't really feeling it. Uh, and, then, and I didn't like how like the car scenes looked, like they looked like a really bad video game. I guess they're going for the real kind of graphic novel style, like almost literally adapting it from the from the page to the screen. But certain bits of it looked really great and everything, and then certain bits were like, huh. And then the ending, I was kind of like, huh? I had to look it up and I went, oh. I think when you have to look up what an ending is. And I would give it, I don't know, I didn't love it, I, don't know. I really enjoyed it but I didn't love it, I'd give it a 7.5, I, I know a lot of people love it and I do enjoy it and I'm looking forward to watching it again, I'll probably check out the extended version next and look at all the extras and stuff at some point in the future but uh, for now, you know, 7.5. There's a really random special feature on this where you can listen to an audience watching this on a premiere night, which is, <laughs> which is funny. So yeah, Sin City. Shitty, shitty, city. And uh, your thoughts on the film? You kind of watched the last half. I don't think I'm going to review this one because I don't remember much okay. from all of it. So you can skip me. I know that I liked the movie though and it was a lot cooler to watch. The parts that I did watch in Blu-ray rather than uh, a downloaded part copy. 